there is one. When it comes to this vehicle, we understand that. The world understands it. But when it comes to religion, there is one. Today I'm going to look at a passage in Ephesians chapter 4, uh, beginning with verse 4. There is one body, and we'll come back to that word body, and one spirit, even as you're called, and one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. There is one, and there is one body. What is the body? In the same book, Ephesians chapter 1, verses 22 and 23, and hath put all things under his, that is Christ's feet, and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. Verse 23, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. And again, in the book of Colossians, the first chapter, the 18th verse, and he, Christ, is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. And again, in verse 24 of Colossians 1, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you, which fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church. So remember, before this vehicle, there is one. Thank you for watching.